So I took a trip to a new Toys R Us and wait. What year is it? Oh yes, it's 2024. Here in the Harlem Irving Plaza Mall in Norwich, Illinois, a brand new Toys R Us opened. Yep, a new one. As you can see, there was a somewhat festive atmosphere for the opening with lots of people, balloon animals, and a person possibly getting heat stroke in a Jeffrey suit. Now this new Toys R Us is not like the old Toys R Us that you remember. For one thing, it's a lot smaller. It's about 10,000 square feet or about the size of an Apple store. Also, it lacks the floor to ceiling shelving of toy stores of old. I did like that about the old places. Made you feel like you might find some lost treasure at any moment. So there's no bikes, some trains, and I don't know if this counts as video games. But considering most of the toy stores I knew of were utterly obliterated in the past 20 years, this might be the biggest toy store there is. So, what's here? A wide variety of stuff, from Barbies to Legos to Nerf to Funko. Oh yes, there was a lot of Funko. In fact, if you didn't know any better, you might think this was the Funko store from the display in the window. There were also things like board games with, um, too many editions of Clue, I think? Plushes, Matchbox cars, Marbles, in case you lost any of these past few years, I know I have. Slime and licensed girls. Yeah, some of the selections for stuff they sell here are odd. I even found uh, Doctor Who stuff that I wouldn't expect to see well anywhere, really. Then there were things marked collectibles, which is another word for expensive. Actually, a lot of stuff here seemed expensive. It was hard to tell because most of the items didn't have price tags. And the few things that did have price tags or an employee could tell me the price seemed a little marked up. Like the Matchbox cars were 2 to $3. $14 for Star Wars figures. The Funko were about $15. It's kind of odd to see things priced so high here, especially since this very mall contained a Target and a Hot Topic where you could get a lot of these same items for cheaper. Also, the opening day specials didn't help. I mean... $15 for a plush is okay, but buy one puzzle, get another at 50% off? Oh my, now I can save for retirement. The most mystifying thing to me was this Rubik's Cube at $15. When's the last time you even thought about buying one of these for any price? I don't know, maybe they're charging a premium for nostalgia? There was this outside wall that gave a very abridged version of the history of Toys R Us. You know, not much going on past 2000, except some very weird mascot changes and venture capital ruining everything. Anyway, it was nice to see a Toys R Us operating again, even in reduced form. I think if they manage to get prices lowered, this smaller mall format may actually work. It doesn't have the warehouse-like space business overhead. And plus, being in a mall, kids might drag their parents into it and annoy them into buying something just like the old days. Here's hoping.